皆さん、こんにちは。私は、ブラジル人の友達。よろしくお願いします。And if you didn't get it, this phrase in English means please subscribe and thumbs up because it wasn't necessary to take 25 times to do this right. And my name is Andre, and I'm here to prove to you that Brazil is more than samba, football, and carnival. Today, I would like to talk about the Japanese immigration to Brazil. Yeah, let's go. But Actually, I would like to talk about that shirt、uh, because I have the best soccer player in the world, which is Ozura Tsubasa. It's an anime from Japan. And by the way, the main character played in Brazil in the team called Sao Paulo. Yeah, I don't know why I talked about that, but I think it's、uh, an interesting subject. The arrival of Japanese immigrants to Brazil had interesting of both countries. After Japan passed by the 19th century and the Meiji era, Uh, they started to have a social organization in the population and they started to have relations with other countries. With the increase of taxes in peasants, the Japanese population started to have a great migration to larger cities. So, obviously, the population grew up on these areas and the Japanese government、uh, started to encourage people to immigrate to the American continent. Meanwhile, in Brazil, Um, ended the slave trade in 1850. So, to have a slave was really, really expensive. So, the farmers started to hire people from Europe, being more specific, Italy, German, and Portuguese, and later Japanese people. Because here in Sao Paulo and Paraná State, the coffee fields w a s increasing as a crazy. Increasing as a crazy. I like that. Increasing as a crazy. So, yeah. The first official visit in Brazil by Japanese people took place in 1880 to seek a diplomatic and agreement about the two countries. Only 15 years on November 5th in 1895, in Paris, the Treaty of Navigation, Commerce and Friendship Brazil Japan was finally signed. In November of 1907, Brazil and Japan closed an agreement in a period of three years to have 3,000 Japanese. Um, immigrants here in Brazil divided into Sao Paulo and Paraná states. And the two buddies responsible for that w a s from Brazil, Paulo Arruda Botelho, the Secretary of Agriculture in, from Sao Paulo, and Rio Mizuno, the president of the Imperial Immigration Company from Japan. And I really want to say his name, the, the name of the company, because I think it's going to be、um, nice if I put this on video. So, Kokoku Shokumigaisha. That's it. The Japanese immigration started in Brazil with the arrival of the Japanese ship called Kasato Maru in Santos, really close to my city, on June 18th in 1908. The 50 day trip brought to Brazil 781 immigrants from the port of Kobe, Kansai region in Japan. The adaptation of Japanese people to the tropical climate, Portuguese language, Um, Brazilian habits, lifestyle, cultural shock was not easy because people in general from Japan w a s thinking to go to Brazil, get rich, and then return to Japan in a few years. But with very low wages, they started to save money and started to brought lands in Brazil. And with the arrival of relatives and the improvement of the quality of life, they started to permanently be in Brazil. The flow of immigrants seized in Brazil in 1973 with the last ship called Nipomaru. And counting, we already had 200,000 people slash Japanese descendants across the country. Japanese people introduced and improved techniques here in Brazil in tea, silkworm, potato, tomato, and rice plantations in Brazilian fields. They also introduced new religions here in Brazil as the Buddhism and Shinto, typical dances, martial arts such as karate, judo, the famous BJJ in MMA, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, and they lead、um, important roles in medicine, sports, and politics. And of course, we got some Japanese words and we put in our Portuguese such as geisha, sake, jiu jitsu. Karate, kimono, etc. We can mention some Japanese descendants, for example, Sabrina Sato, which is a Brazilian presenter, Ugoyama, the table tennis player,、um, the MMA fighter, Lyoto Mashida, 
Tá Singer, Fernanda, Takai, The Moral, Juliana, Imai, and etc, etc, etc. There are several institutions, dedications, and sculptures that preserve the memory of Japanese immigrants here in Brazil. We have the Historical Museum of Japanese Immigration in Sao Paulo and the Museum of Agricultural Colonization of Paraná in Rolândia. Dourados, Tupã, Bastos, Londrina, Maringá, Registro are examples of cities that grow around the Japanese culture. It is notorious to quote that in Liberdade neighborhood in Sao Paulo has the largest Japanese community outside of Japan. And in the whole country, we have approximately two people, Japanese and descendants in Brazil, which represents the biggest community of Japan in the world. And a nice curiosity, in 1998, we celebrated the 90th anniversary of Japanese immigration to Brazil. And we have one of the first um, immigrants that I have in Brazil, Tomi Nakagawa, was on that party. So, buddies, this is the first video from a series that I'm thinking to produce, which is um, about immigration in Brazil. We have American immigration, Italian, Germany, and I think that it's really nice to talk about that. Um, I love the Japanese um, culture, I love anime, I was learning Japanese for a while, and I really like to talk about that. What do you think? Just comment below. Thumbs up, as I said in the beginning. And thank you so much. Muito obrigado. And I see you on the next episode. Tchau. Arigatou gozaimasu.